Hello. Today, we're going to talk about two things which can shape the surface of the Earth. One is plate tectonics, which you might have already learned about in a different video. The other is erosion. Erosion is rocks and minerals being broken down and moved by natural processes. Here in California, the two most important natural processes are wind and water. But are there other things which can cause erosion? By exploring our surroundings, we can find evidence of lots of different kinds of erosion. When water freezes, it turns into ice, which is a very powerful erosive force. Yosemite Valley is a good example of a landscape which has been carved by ice. Living things can cause erosion too. The roots of plants growing are strong enough to break apart large rocks and boulders. And burrowing animals, like squirrels and voles, move a lot of soil to make their homes. Even humans cause erosion simply by walking on trails. Natural chemicals can cause erosion. This is lichen, a living thing which, as it grows, produces chemicals that dissolve rocks and minerals. Gravity can shape the surface of the Earth too. This can happen on a small scale, or it can be much larger and cause a landslide. These forces, along with tectonic plates, are constantly shaping the surface of the Earth. What do you think the Earth is going to look like in a million years? Now I've got a challenge for you. If you've got a backyard or some space outside, I want you to go outside and find an example of erosion. And I want you to tell your family what you think caused that erosion.